One shulker box of netherite blocks is 504 million. Right, okay, so that would completely destroy the economy then, if Boltop's only 6 million. Welcome to the world of pay-to-win Minecraft servers. Let me introduce the Donut SMP, a server founded by a small streamer and TikToker. His content is a bit... in your face. No, 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 no! <laughs> what am I doing? What? But the guy seems nice and very passionate about his server at least. Although he does have a tendency to spontaneously fall off his chair. That being said, unfortunately, as mentioned, the server is pay to win. Here are the crates, a plague which has swept across modern Minecraft servers the past few years. For a few dollars, you could potentially get all of these items, right? Netherite ingots, OP yeah, swords, diamond blocks, more OP armor, levels, enchanted golden apples, all the crazy stuff, and it's six bucks for a crate. Right, okay. Is this random items or you get all the items you pay for here? You get one item, it's game. Oh, it just, it just rolls. Okay. I was gonna say, you know, even if it's pay to win, I guess at least you know what you're getting, but now it was like Bro, a little one. No, you have no idea. I went to use the key and I didn't even get what I rolled on. Oh, and they promote underage gambling. This is in game money, which you buy with real Okay, money, I guess so. yeah, then it is. It's highly likely these so called legendary items are almost impossible to get as well. Furthermore, they have a hardcore server with lives and the death ban, where if you die, you get banned, and you bet. You can pay for those. So this is meant to be a hardcore SMP? Is it what, like a death ban or something? Lifesteal? What is it? What's the death ban? Of? Once you lose three lives, 24-hour ban, but you can pay to be on that. Okay. You can pay to get more lives. <laughs> Not sure how hardcore it is when you can effectively buy your way to, to netherite armor and stuff, but yeah. You know, exactly. That's, that's what I'm just saying. I love giving my credit card to <laughs> sketchy TikTokers. Kind of defeats the purpose of a hardcore server if you can just buy your way out of death, don't you think? The server is hard for poor players, or what I like to call hard poor Minecraft. Now, the other issue I have with the server is their casino plugin. Honestly, casino plugins by themselves are fine. The issue begins when you can get the in-game money you bet on the casino with real money, which you can get from crates and from the items you can get from them, which obviously can be sold. In a way, you are therefore gambling real-life money, which probably isn't the best thing to have on a server predominantly played on by kids. Speaking of money, well, this server, of course, has an in-game currency and economy. Economies form the backbone of most major servers, allowing you to buy and sell various items, and are a lot of fun when balanced. Keyword, balanced. It would be a shame if somebody were to, well, inflate that economy by 21,438%. And thus, let the duping begin. Pretty much the game plan is teleport to Shumzi, have him drop you a shulker box full of netherite blocks, get as far away as possible. Once you are as far away as possible, I will teach you how to use the mod that I gave you. Alright. I'm teleporting. If I can do one first try, please. Be consistent, please. You have the mod on, right? Or no? Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, I got it. Yep. Okay, where's the electrodes? Alright, flying away. Let's go. Staff is off, but our time is limited because the nighttime staff for this time zone is going to be on quickly. I reckon we've got about 15 to 20 uninterrupted minutes. I'm going to be on money duty, Mr. Epic, and everyone else. You're going to be on teleport duty where you dupe the shulkers and then drop them to individuals. Right. What you're going to want to do, take everything out of your inventory, put it into a chest if you want to keep it. While you have your shulker box in your first hop slot, you can only dupe up to seven of these. If you do any more than seven, it will kick you from the game. You're then going to type minus dupe space spawn space 5000. And you drop it the last. It's going to automatically do this. When you teleport to spawn, if you have a shulker box in your inventory, it succeeded. If you do not, you're going to want to make it a little bit higher than 5000 to account for ping. So. I duped one. You duped one? Perfect. Let me, let me just Let's go back. So, how and why does this dupe work? Well, you see, it's actually quite a rare dupe and it only works on a select few specific servers. You may notice that when we TP to spawn, instead of being instantaneous, it looks like we are changing dimension or teleporting to another world. This single design flaw is the sole reason this dupe works. Basically, what we have here is a custom made fabric mod, which runs the slash spawn command for you, obviously teleporting you to spawn on every server ever. But it also allows you to specify a time or delay that the mod will automatically drop all the items in your hotbar onto the ground. 
If set up correctly, just before you teleport to spawn, the mod will automatically drop all the items for you, but upon arriving at spawn, you will still have them in your inventory. Teleporting back to the location you were just at before spawn, we will reveal the items on the ground as if you dropped them, successfully duping them. I look at the bow top right now and compare that to like what one shulker of a uh, or one what double so, chest. Of I did the out. math. Oh yeah, bow top number one is six mil. One shulker box of netherite blocks is five hundred four million. Right. Okay. <laughs> so that would completely destroy the economy then if bow tops only yeah, six mil. Yeah, you can sell sell. Right. You only get nine milli per shulker. What is that? Is that like a max? Oh, that was cap? a double chest. That was a double chest. You were talking about. Oh right, about. that was a double chest. My bad. So, while the current ball top was 6.5 million, a single netherite shulker we were duping sold for over 9 million dollars. So you can imagine that with double chests full of them, things were going to go south very quickly. Well, it's 350 mil. I'm going to start paying people. Oh, look at the ball top. Alright, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just start just keep, why is the... Just keep duping them until you can... Oh like, my god. Like wait, Jupiter, wait, you, you, you're Pob G, right? right? Yup. You have three, 340 million. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yeah, just check that. Enjoy. Do we want, do we want to like avoid teleporting to like the people with ranks so we don't get routed out as quick? No, just do crazy. Look at how stupid they're, look at how dumb they're being. That's fair. Okay, I'm just, just teleport to everyone, right? I'm trying to teleport to everyone. No one's accepting the dogs. Pub oh, someone accepted. Is there like a public warp we can go to where you can drop items? Oh, I got kicked for eternal exception. Right, I'm going back oh, over. that's just, that's not a staff or whatever. That's just your computer. I think, that, hang on. I think a few people were kicked. Yeah, I think, no, a what? bunch of people just got kicked. Did you see that? Oh my goodness, you're right. Did a bunch of people get disconnected for like the payoff? And I'm placing down all these shulker boxes so I can sell their contents. Bro, there was a duper. What? Oh yeah, God. we're just OGs. Just tell them we're OGs. We're quitting. That's all it is. Hold up. Just did a bit of um, mining. Can you pass over some money real quick? I got you. Just did a bit of mining off camera. All right. Uh, I'll start working on page. I gave three. Danny a bit of a stimulus check there. This guy she's freaking out. Everybody I'm pay. It's Liddy like five mil. Who? It's Liddy? Like One thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. Like ten it's million dollars. It's Nox oh stooping. Look at look at that, dude. It's so clearly him. It's clearly Nox, bro. It's obviously Nox. Wait, if we like direct all the funds to Nox, do you think they'll think it's him? <laughs> yes, yeah, two hundred mil. <laughs> Nox, it's two hundred million. <laughs> look, they think it's Nox. <laughs> they, they think it's Nox. <laughs> We had been duping and distributing immense amounts of wealth for a while now, and no staff who had been alerted in Discord by players even batted an eye. It was almost too easy. Oh, you can you can pay quick. offline people? I didn't even realize. Yeah, you can. Go to Bell Top 2. Okay, waifu consumer. Oh, he seems nice. That's this guy said buying soup book for one million. Days. I'll give him another five million then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I paid... I paid Andrew Tate's mum five mil really? from the top G. Someone just paid me 500k. <laughs> <laughs> Money's distributing around the server quite fast now. This is the main of Flex. Hey. Oh look, he admitted it. Wait, can we get this? Can we get him banned? Knox unintentionally played his role perfectly because not only was he kind of clueless, but he also began randomly paying the duped money we all gave him to other random players, making him look incredibly suspicious. I already got Knox oh, to a billion. Wow. Ooh, congratulations to Nox, the server's first Actually, billionaire. Let's go, Nox. <laughs> Thanks, bro. What, what exactly are we supposed to do? We have so much money. It's... <laughs> Give it to people. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? There's like no one online anymore. There was at least um, double the players online. Two, four, six. Wait, so there's five of us online. If you subtract five, there's like nine people on. Eight people. By this point, over half the server had disconnected and stopped playing. In fact, it's likely more considering about seven of the players online were either us dupers or duper troopers friends. These guys are just admitting that they're gonna be banned. <laughs> to his credit, Nox took it pretty well though and accepted his fate. How do you, this guy's ignoring. Oh, oh, wait, what happened? Oh, kick from the server? TP at a Lady Bells too. Let's get a replay. Oh, wow. Oh my just god. Just start breaking them. Yeah, help us break the chest. Man. It's insane. Someone... Okay, sick. Oh my Wait, god. Who is this kid? <laughs> who is this kid? That's me, bro. Oh, okay. Jeep is panicking. He's gonna get a screenshot. <laughs> oh! Wait, what? Oh, oh. 
It's fine. It's fine. Really get back on. There was actually just who, breaking. Who are we TPing to? <laughs> go, go, go. Hang on, no, wait, no, no, no. Come on, come on. You yeah, cannot do that now. That. Contact staff and tell them Goliath 9. Nice. Stop letting me TP. Oh, do it, do it again. Oh, it's spamming the mess my chat with wait, teleport. I think, I think the server's bugged, man. <laughs> oh, the no. it's fine. I got, oh, I got, God. I got replays anyway, Just so barely. you can go in and take more screenshots after Jufa. Perfect. With the server oh, repeatedly crashing, I think it's a good time to leave. A few hours after our dupe, I came back and still nothing had happened. The economy was still inflated beyond belief. Nox now had $1.4 billion, meaning that we had successfully inflated Ball Top 1 by over 21,000%. I went and stashed away some of the remainder of our duped shulker boxes for safekeeping. Eventually a staff member logged on, Pedro Exception, and I switched to an alt to monitor him. Clearly he was not happy as he stared at the devastating state of the economy listed out right at spawn. Hilariously, poor Nox actually got banned according to players. GNXGMXMBXR assured me that the dupe which had occurred was a money dupe, telling me that there was no way you could dupe billions of dollars worth of items. If you see this video, Mr. GNX member, who's the real dumbass now? The players had no idea what had happened, but Pedro was just as clueless and still had no idea what the dupe was. Players were complaining in Discord, Pedro had no idea what to do, and as such, shut the hardcore server down for maintenance. It was down for quite a few hours, which in conjunction with the time we originally duped, added up to almost 10 hours of the server being an absolute pandemonium. The players, especially the donors, were not happy, complaining about the lack of communication in Discord, as well as the non-existent staff response time to the dupe, allowing us to go unmoderated for hours, distributing duped money. We would be banned eventually, but our stashes were still untouched, and Jupa along with the others would log on with ults, which for some reason they didn't ban, and continue duping for the next two or so days. Check out Jupa's video for more of that. And finally, after hours of downtime, a rollback, many alt accounts banned, and much, much complaining from players, they patched the dupe, ending our reign of terror. However, even after the rollback, much of the money we distributed to lower levels of ball top never got removed, with only the first few players being rolled back. And now, only about a week later, the economy is over double what it originally was. I run a Minecraft server with an economy myself, and I can tell you that the entire ball top doubling in only a week is not normal. Our dupe had long-lasting impacts that were now too far gone to fix. And thus, the saga of duping came to its conclusion. But this won't be the end of our crusade against pay-to-win servers.